Hello, my name is Mel Richard. I work as an internal medicine specialist at the Hospice Civil de Lyon. Here is the clinical case of a 51-year-old female who presented to the emergency department with a four-day history of fever, chills, abdominal pain and vomiting. The patient has a past medical history of primary biliary cholangitis. On examination, the patient was hypotensive and feverish. A thoracoabdominal pelvic CT scan revealed pneumonia and colitis. Blood cultures grew Streptococcus pyogenes. Shortly after admission, the patient developed septic shock despite fluid resuscitation and broad-spectrum intravenous antibiotics. She was then transferred to the intensive care unit and put on norepinephrine. The patient initially improved, but 24 hours after admission, she developed a cardiogenic shock with a left ventricular ejection fraction of 25%, despite being previously normal. A coronary angiography showed LC coronaries as well as an inverted Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. The, diagnos the diagnosis of septic cardiomyopathy was made and the patient was treated with dobutamine while antibiotics were con continued. She was later discharged from the ICU but deteriorated again a few days later. She once again presented with cardiogenic shock, signs of pulmonary edema, hypotension and persistent fever. A new CT scan revealed diff diffuse myocardial calcification of the left ventricle. A myocardial biopsy confirmed myocardial inf infiltration with numerous diffuse microcalcification, as we can see on this histological section, where the calcium deposits are stained black by the vancosa stain. With the persistent fever and heart failure, we conclude that the diffuse myocardial calcification were due to se post-septic cardiomyopathy. Treatment with uh, corticosteroids was started, which radically improved the patient's condition. The fever disappeared and the patient was less dyspneic and able to walk again. After a long period of rehabilitation and the introduction of an optimized treatment for heart failure, the patient was able to return home and resume work. The main lessons of this clinical case are that after excluding infectious causes, Diffuse myocardial calcification following sepsis shock may be improved by high-dose corticosteroid treatment. These observations are not supported by robust clinical trials and must be considered with caution. Thank you.